everything has to come to an end. And so did my journey from Cherbourg, down the coast of France, over to Spain, back to France, up to England, and now bound for Cherbourg again. I left Plymouth on Sunday, August 21, and headed for Salcombe. So, cheers, I'm in Salcombe. That's a river, um, maybe 20 miles further east from Plymouth. Ah, I sailed over uh, with uh, fluky winds and uh, quite a bumpy sea, so it wasn't the very nicest day for sailing. And the weather, mm, the weather is English summer. Ooh. But anyway, tomorrow I'll try uh, to go to Guernsey. I hope it is uh, at least a little bit more sunny than it was today. Well, it wasn't sunny at all today. Mm. Fortunately, the weather had improved quite a lot during the night, and I woke up to a lovely day. We left Salcombe in the morning and set a course towards Guernsey. So, we're uh, in the shipping lines again. Just uh, had a tanker ahead. And um, yeah, progress is fine. Sea stay could be nicer. Wind is okay. Yeah. Although I had only one close encounter with a big ship in the shipping lane, my AIS was dotted with signals of commercial ships and yachts and fishing vessels. The English Channel is a busy stretch of water. But I also saw the dead body of a whale, which made me very sad. I hoped to see one of these great creatures on my trip, but alive and not dead. As I was a bit late for a favorable tide to Guernsey, I decided to alter course to sail to Alderney, the northernmost of the Channel Islands. But when I arrived, it was pitch black night. Not easy to find a mooring boy and pick it up. And then the last day of my voyage dawned. I sailed out of Bray Harbor with course Cherbourg. It was a splendid day. And so, Blue Ali and I arrived where we had left almost six months ago, safe and sound. Is it the end? Well, be assured, there will be more sailing in the near future, and more sea stories of course.